I'm going to tell you three ways to avoid or minimize the impact of the mortgage stress test on your mortgage application. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Canada and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn ways to be approved for a mortgage home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification button so you won't miss anything. First off, let's clarify what exactly is the stress test. There are two types of stress tests. One is for people who have less than 20% down payment and the newest stress test affects those who have 20% or more down payment. We're going to be talking about how to avoid or minimize the stress test for those who have 20% or more down payment. Sorry, there's no getting around the stress test if you have less than 20% down payment. So what is the stress test? The stress test is the inflated rate banks use to qualify your mortgage application. Since the higher the rate means your potential payment is higher, this leads to a lower mortgage amount you can qualify for. The rate used is either five-year benchmark rate published by the Bank of Canada, which is currently 3.19, or the mortgage contract rate plus 2%, whichever is higher. This doesn't mean your rate is going to be higher. The bank is just using a higher rate to qualify you. You still get the current market interest rate. First way to avoid the mortgage stress test on your application. Get your mortgage at a credit union. The new mortgage rules were implemented by the Office of the Superintendent of Financial Institutions, also known as OSFI, and its mandate is to supervise and regulate federally registered banks and insurers, trusts, and loan companies. The loophole is that credit unions are not federally registered banks. They are provincially registered banks. Depending on the size, there are credit unions that have implemented a partial stress test. However, majority of credit unions are still qualifying at the contract rate. Number two, increase amortization to 35 years. The amortization of a mortgage plays a big part of how much a borrower can qualify for. As you increase the amortization of a mortgage, the monthly payment will be lower and therefore you'll be able to be approved for a larger mortgage amount. Most banks nowadays have a maximum of 30 year amortization. But as a mortgage broker, I have access to some mid-sized banks that are still offering 35 year amortization. This is a loophole that decreases the impact drastically. So let's work out the numbers. 60,000 income at 25 year amortization using old rules qualifies for 324,226. 60,000 income at 25 year amortization using new rules qualifies for 264,899. This is an 18.3% decrease. But if we use 35 year amortization, $60,000 income at 35 year amortization using new rules qualifies for 304,200. This is only a 6.18% decrease. Rates are about 1 to 1.5% more than the big banks. However, you'll be able to get the additional financing required. Number three, private lending. This would be the last resort because rates are much higher, but it gets the job done. Many private lenders are equity-based lenders, meaning regardless of your financial situation, they're willing to lend up to 75% of the property value. This is meant for short-term purposes because the rate ranges from 7 to 9% with about 2 to 3% upfront fee. If there are no other options, this is an excellent option to acquire temporary financing until you have sufficient income to qualify at a bank or credit union. And there you go with three ways to avoid or minimize the impact of this mortgage stress test on your application. If you haven't done so, subscribe and hit the notification button. Share with your friends. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Arise Mortgage. I'll see you in the next video. And together, we'll achieve your approval.